scattering of light. We've across some wonderful phenomena in our daily life, such as the blue color of the sky, color of water in deep sea, the reddening of the sun at sunrise and the sunset, are what is the reason behind these natural phenomena? For this, first we shall discuss about scattering of light. Scattering of light. When a beam of light falls on an atom, it causes the electron in the atom to vibrate. The vibrating electrons, in turn, re-emit light in all directions. This process is called scattering. Earth's atmosphere contains air molecules and other tiny particles. When light from the sun passes through the atmosphere, it gets scattered by the large number of particles in the atmosphere. According to Rayleigh law, the intensity of scattered light varies inversely as the full power of the wavelength of height, 1 by h power 4. Tyndall effect. John Tyndall was the first one to explain about the color of the sky in the year 1859. He stated that the color blue shatters, scattered more than that of red due to the shorter wavelength in a case where the light has to pass through a clear fluid that contains suspended small particles. A planet Earth consists of various mixtures of particles like smoke, molecules of air, dust particles and water droplets. These diffused particles reflect the light before it reaches the earth. The scattering of light by the colloidal particles is known as the Tyndall effect. The size of the particles determines the color of the scattered light. This statement can be proved with the help of a simple experiment. Allow a beam of light to pass through a tank of water with a slight mixture of soap or milk in it. If you wash the beam from a side, you can notice that the beam scatters blue light. But when you thoroughly observe the beam from the end, then you will find that the beam is redden after it has passed through the tank. Why is the color of the clear sky blue? Since the wavelength of blue color is smaller than the wavelength of red color, lambda b less than lambda r. Scattering of blue light by particles in Earth's atmosphere is very large. For this reason we see a blue sky. Although violet light is scattered more than blue light, our eyes are not very sensitive to violet light. Color of the sun at sunrise and sunset. At the time of sunset or sunrise, the sun is near the horizon as shown in the diagram. The rays from the sun must travel more kilometers through the atmosphere than at noon. Therefore, more blue is scattered from the sunlight. The removal of blue leaves the transmitted light more reddish in appearance. Therefore, sun looks reddish at the sunset or sunrise.